As someone who has suffered from acne since I was 14, the pain is real. I'm 42. We're talking 28 years straight of hell. And it's getting better. It's way better than it used to be. But I go up and down and I'm always debating what can I use on my face? What do I have to eat to calm the inflammation down? So I have wondered aloud chemical versus natural on the face what diet heals that face and we should discuss some things today today i am purposefully filming myself on a sony camera they're known to unflatter you they're the most accurate they show every zit on my head and we're just being real today so for the most part my skin, I look in the mirror and I'm like, you know what? That's not so bad. You're not so bad. You're not a bad guy. That face, that's all right. I've been watching a bunch of skin care routine videos and I just feel for you ladies, especially with the cheek cystic acne here. So all in all, I have things pretty good right now. Like for the most part, I've stopped the major breakouts. For whatever reason, my forehead has remained strange and like just erupting. It's not only the tiny bumps that you can't really see, the texture, the annoyance, but also like an eczema-like rash. So that's been fun for the past year, if not more. It calms down and then gets worse and the waves of hell. So I've been watching a bunch of skincare videos. I just watched one. I only used water for 30 days. This is what happened, or six months, something like that. And I was like, oh, cool. First day, she was like, and I use petroleum jelly on my face. I'm like, that's not water. Can you drink Vaseline? I don't recommend it. Title should have been, I only used petroleum jelly on the face, but whatever. It was Japanese skin fasting is what she called it. Not a fast if you're petroleum jellying your way through life. So here's the deal. Some people have perfect skin and they only use water or basic soaps. I remember meeting Bobby's Perspective in Thailand. We had our meeting at the airport, we hung out, and he just had the best skin ever, and still does. And I'm just like, what do you do? He's like, you know what, I'll tell you the secret. I use whatever frickin' soaps are available at the Airbnb that I'm at, if they have any, if not, whatever. Like, he didn't care. So like for him to get a zit would be a life changing. He would have to like eat nothing but deep fried soy sausages or something. I don't know how he could even get a zit. Perfect skin, beautiful. But he doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't have to work for it. People like me, we do. So when someone says, oh, you just don't do anything. Let the skin heal itself. That doesn't work on my face. I've tried that in Thailand, most of my journey, I did nothing on my face. I swam in the ocean. I didn't even buy soap back then. My skin was not good until I got back. And I've always realized that when I cleanse my face regularly, it feels better. In fact, I just did an experiment where I didn't even wash my face with water. That was an interesting one, pure caveman style. I'd lasted three days and it was hell. By the third day, my forehead felt like sandpaper. It was the worst thing ever. I could not push through it. Maybe perfect skin was on the other side of that rainbow. I wasn't about to look in the pot of gold because it hurt. So I just, I washed my face, exfoliated, and it actually felt pretty good. The day after, I was like, not bad. Maybe that did help a little bit, calm things down, but it felt so bad. So as I researched, like, what are other people doing with acne? There's a very small minority of people trying the natural method versus a lot of chemicals. And it seems that the chemicals are worse for you in the long run, but they work, don't they? Sometimes. Usually the skincare girls, it doesn't even work for them. And they're wearing acne makeup. And it's such a strange thing. Like, I did 90 days of this and like you still have terrible acne and you're covered it up with makeup. You can't trust anybody. I made a video the other day where I was getting a bunch of old clips from prior videos just to show b-roll and situations and I saw an old carnivore controversial skincare routine video I made and I was like what was controversial about it? The only thing was I used black soap as a white man. And I was like, oh, that's so edgy. 
it's not even designed for black people, but whatever. And my skincare routine was so simple. And I remember that time my skin had finally cleared up. And all I was doing every morning, I rub an aloe leaf on my face. I bought an actual leaf, put it in the fridge, sliced it, and then rub the gel on my face, leave it on for a few hours. And then I have a shower. I use the black soap. Right now I'm using beef tallow soap. So whatever soap doesn't irritate you, you do that. And then after the soap, I put rice bran oil on my face and then a little, let that sink in and then wipe it off gently with a face cloth. And I had great skin back then, all natural, no chemicals needed. I debate going back to that. Why aren't I? Why didn't I remember that? That's the real question. I was doing it with great skin. Why did I stop? I have no idea. I think I just got scared of the rice bran oil. Like it was extracted with chemicals or something. I was like, that's not natural. I'm not using that anymore. But it's so high in vitamin E and it was working for my skin because other oils can clog you up. Olive oil might work great for you, but it'll clog up another person or coconut oil. Everybody swears by that. That makes me itchy. It's terrible. So it's like I'm using cacao oil now. Doubt it's even better than the rice bran oil. Way more expensive. So there's two things I'm debating here. Either we go back to that that was clearly working and then work on the diet and digestion because nobody in the skincare industry for some reason even talks about food. The odd person does, but that's like 90% of it. If you're breaking out with a bunch of cystic acne, like remove the dairy and the sugar, like get on the meats, the fatty meats, that'll heal the digestion. For the most part, things will go away. It's once you get to that point, how can we heal the damage of our face and just like have nice skin for once? That's all I'm thinking about. Can I get rid of the little scarring and the texture of my forehead, the nose, little bumps, little redness, little blotchy skin tones here where I have like white but red patches and I'm like have AIDS or something. I don't know what it is. Can we recover that naturally or do we need the chemicals? So if you're lost suffering with terrible acne, try going carnivore and try lamb only because beef can mess some people up. Chicken high in omega-6 might mess you right up. Pork, don't even look at pork. That's high in parasites and omega-6 and terrible. They're unclean. It's in every religion. They're like, don't eat pork. You're eating pork rinds and shit. So it'll go on lamb only, 90 days. It'll probably clear up in two weeks. And then you start thinking, how do I repair my skin? Here's what I'm debating. The tiny forehead bumps. I've been watching Dr. Dre. She's saying this product with salicylic acid will help unclog those because I don't seem to be able to unclog them naturally. So I've been experimenting with a little CeraVe Acti control gel it's only been a couple days, so I'm, this is not a review. I'm just seeing, will that help? The other thing I'm debating, every skincare expert seems to say, you need a retinol in your life, or retinoid, even more powerful, different gel, something like that. And like, you have to stick with it for months and then eventually, boom, acne's gone. But you have to stick with it. It makes your skin sensitive to the sun, so then you need a moisture, a moisturizer, a sunscreen plus moisturizer. And then you're spending a lot of money. My aloe leaf gel was $2.49 and it'll last probably two weeks. So boom, like that's one part of my skincare covered. A bottle of oil is like $11 that will last months. Face cloths are a one-time purchase. So like you could simplify your life like that or 30 bucks a month for the retinol, another 30 for the freaking salicylic acid and then a moisturizer. Holy shit. So like, I don't know, I'm debating. You let me know. Do you use a retinol? Is it helping you? Should I go down that path? I'm debating it. I'm debating it hard. So like right now things are very simple and somewhat natural. I do the aloe leaf in the morning. I wash with beef tallow soap. I moisturize with beef tallow, vanilla flavored. And then that's my 
morning routine, and then at night, beef tallow soap again, this CeraVe acne gel on the face, and then a layer of beef fat on the face to protect from the chemicals and moisturize again. So like, that's what I'm doing. And I'm debating getting the Differin gel to see what does a retinol do? Will it get rid of the textured mistakes of my past? It might. All I know is it's annoying to have acne. It's painful, it's itchy, and it's embarrassing. And going out in public, even though nobody cares about your acne, nobody is looking at you the way you're looking at yourself. That's what I've realized. I'm like nitpicking everything. Oh my God, I'm so... And then I'll tell somebody about it when we're talking. I'm like, oh yeah, the skin. They're like, they're like, what are you talking about? Like, I never would have noticed if you didn't point out every single zit right now. Like, nobody cares. Like, relax. The stress of being so self-conscious is what's giving you more acne. So just hold on. People are nice out there. But like, it's just, we want it. I don't know why I even want nice skin, but I feel like I deserve it and I eat super healthy and I want the nice skin to reflect that. And then that helps motivate you for whatever reason, because you're shallow and you want to look nice. And so everybody cares about that online and that's the state of our humanity right now. We all care so much about looks. And if you have some dork who has a bunch of freak acne and you're like, this is how you eat healthy, bro. I can't make babies. Uh oh. You want to follow my, buy my ebook, 10% off. So it's like, what are we doing right now? I just want nice face technology. And do I need a retinol for that? I doubt it, but I'm curious. What's your skincare routine? Let me know. Do you just use water? Do you exfoliate? I was using baking soda for a bit and I'm like, that's so alkaline. Skin needs to be acid. That's probably messing me up. I think the white clay was messing me up every time I use it. It felt nice the next day, but then acne eruptions from the forehead i'm like maybe that's causing some problems so get your diet right first hydrate heal the gut and then focus on the skin you might need some help externally you probably do let me know your thoughts down below how you do you thumbing up the video thumbs down if you exfoliate with sandpaper and oregano the oregano is probably softer you could start there i'm using salicylic acid now it burns my face uh, chemical exfoliant versus physically rough housing yourself cotton is that gonna hurt me maybe linen just wrap your head in linen you might heal that's all we know for sure you subscribing for more skin tips I'll see you in the next video.